Okay, so today we're going to look at the normal distribution. And it is our first continuous distribution. And here is our function that defines a probability density function for a normally distributed function. And it looks like this ugly mess. And it goes from negative infinity to infinity. And so the theory behind the normal distribution, well, because it's a probability density function, the area underneath this curve here, all this area, the total area, is equal to 1, which is quite convenient. If I want to put that in math notation, well, because it's continuous, I'm going to take the area, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of f of x dx, and that is going to be 1 when it all adds up. This curve is continuous. It goes on forever and ever in both directions. And the empirical rule, what the empirical rule says, if this is one standard deviation on either side, then they happen at the point of inter intersect, sorry, the point of inflection. If I would take all the area underneath there, this would be 68% of the total population. If I go to two, between the two degrees of standard deviation, that works out to 95%. And then finally, the very last one, 3, negative 3 to 3, that gives me 99.7% of the population. So if you were outside three standard deviations, that's a very rare event. The symmetry of this curve is entirely symmetric. It is always nice and curved. And then finally, standardizing these. Well, one of the cool things about the normal curve is we have this axis at the bottom here, and this is the z-axis. So these are z-scores, but they are also the standard deviations as I was referring to before. And so the variable z, or z-score, is measured in terms of standard deviations. And there's a formula in our formula booklet that says x minus mu over sigma is equal to z. And this is what, when we do this calculation, that standardizes our values. And this particular one here with this centered at 0 and negative 1 to 1, this is called the standard, uh, the standard normal curve. There's the theory of normal.